Can you make knives out of a lawnmower blade? Let's go find out. I've been making knives out of lawnmower blades for years. Now I've have had issues with certain lawnmower blades. I just tried different methods, changed up my oil, you know, grabbed another blade. Never have I once, not once, done a bend or snap test to determine whether it can actually be hardened or not. I just went, hey, did it harden? It hardened. It skates, it holds an edge, we're good to go. But I've never actually went through and tested it. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do some snap tests on this and really answer the question, can you make knives out of lawnmower blades? Now, before we even start flattening this and, and getting them all down to a shape we can use, please make sure your shop is well ventilated. The paint fumes coming off of this as it burns off is not great. It's not good for you. So, what you're going to do after you're doing that, you're going to heat these up, you're going to flatten them out, you're going to make them nice and flat so we can then put patterns on them later on. Now that they're flat, we can go see if they're worth making a knife out of. To do the snap test method or the break test method as it's commonly called, you're going to put your, your lawnmower blade in your vise and you're going to mark out your pieces and cut off three coupons. Now I like to number my coupons, so I number them one for control, two for water, three for oil. Keeps it nice and easy that way. That way when I put them in the forge, I know exactly which ones are which and I pull them out as such. I go control out first, then I take water, and then finally I will pull out the oil and do that one next. So we're gonna take our control, we're gonna put it in the vise here, and we're gonna hit it with a hammer. Now what we expect to happen is it to bend right over, just like that. Just, I mean, that's not even a hard hit that I gave it. I mean, it's a forceful blow, but it's not that hard. That went, that just bent right over. You see, it's just malleable steel. That's what we expect to see from this. Now on the water quench, we expect this to crack right here. I was not expecting to have to hit this twice, by the way. I was I was not expecting to have to hit it twice. I was expecting it to just crack and be done and be like, hey, okay, yeah, that's a water quench. That's what it's supposed to look like. It was not supposed to be hit twice. I was actually expecting the oil to act like it acted. You know, to where it, it's an oil quench. It's not super quenched like water but it's not super soft like the the control it is what it is it bent it gave and then it broke and then it snapped so this is this is what i expected to have happen here All right, now that we've done our, our snap test method or our break test to really see if we can harden this steel, what does it all mean? Well, this is our control. It bent just like we thought it was going to do, you know. When we looked at the grain structure of our water quench, it was super tight, not granulated, 
huge amount of granulation, but it did just break, like snap right off. Um, you can, so that what tells me is you can water quench this and then you just, you, you can temper back to make it a little more durable. And then for our third test, our oil quench, we showed it has the very, very, very little grain in it. Not as smooth as the water quench, but definitely hard. And as you saw in the test, it took multiple hits to absolutely break this. It first kind of bent it, and then I, it hit harder and, and snapped it. That is a good sign. That is an oil quench. Now, what does that tell me temper-wise? If we run our pieces through our tempering oven for an hour, the water, maybe the water at two hours and the oil quench at an hour and see if that changes the outcome. Does it soften it up too much? This was an actual surprise to me. You can actually hear me here in a minute say, wow, it's, it really did surprise me. Both of these actually surprised me on on what on how, just how good they were. I mean that that was a better one than the first one. It just it took more powerful blows to actually get it to bend after we tempered it, um, which was kind of surprising. Well, that was a pleasant surprise, to be honest. I mean. I kind of knew it was going to go on, what was going to happen. I didn't expect the water quench to be that much better. Both are good. Both are good. I think the water is better. I think the water quench or kind of a brine quench in, in my bucket with a two-hour temper, you get a better, better knife. Um with a oil quench and a one hour temper at 400 degrees you're good to go for for these more blades like i said you have to test each one of your own that you're using and and see what's going to work for you i'm going to go with a water quench and a two hour temper and we'll see what's up but uh yeah I, i'm gonna get these things cut out so that's what we're gonna do next we're gonna take these lawnmower blades that we did and we're gonna put a bunch of patterns on them and then we're gonna go over to the bandsaw and we'll see over the bandsaw Well, I mean, we didn't get all of them, but we got enough. We got our event coming up on September 12th through the 14th. We'll have more in this bucket by the time we get done. The point of this was that you could take lawnmower blades, test them, find the ones that you can harden and make knives out. Stay safe out there, everybody. Be well, and as always, for John. <laughs>